if you do any prospecting with LinkedIn, you have got to go get set up with Surf. That's S U R F E. It's a tool you can use to add new contacts to your CRM system directly from LinkedIn in seconds. I'm using it every single day. I add contacts, follow my deals, keep track of notes, and it ends up saving me a bunch of time on prospecting and outreach, which means I can spend more time moving my deals along. The data is always 100% accurate since I don't have to copy and paste all the fields over from each and every contact that I want to put in my CRM. Instead, Surf does that all automatically with just one click in about 60 seconds. The team over at Surf has put together a very special offer for fans of sales players. There's a link down in the show notes and you can use the promo code JWSurf5. Don't forget the E at the end of Surf. That's JWSurf5 for 5% off your first year. Don't spend another minute doing things manually. Go get set up with Surf. Okay, here's a really cool formula you can use to figure out a SaaS company's revenues annually and their burn rate per year. And here's a couple of use cases for why you'd wanna know this information. Story time. So I had a listener reach out and he mentioned that he's got potentially three different job offers coming his way from three different early stage SaaS startups. And he asked, you know, what criteria would I go about looking at to decide which one to pick? Now I could do a whole episode on back channeling the hiring manager or comparing the different salary and, and commission offers and the stock equity plans and those kind of things. I will definitely do episodes about some of those topics in the future. But for now, I just mentioned to him, hey, one really quick test you can run that'll give you some qualitative data around the health of the startups is this trick that I'm about to share. So this comes from the Saster blog and that's run by Jason Limkin. And basically he says this is a formula that can be used to decide if your competitors are earning more revenue than you, also figure out your competitor's burn rate or how much money they're burning through or cash they're burning through every year. But here's the formula. Basically you go to LinkedIn, look up the company and figure out how many employees are on LinkedIn. And then take that number and multiply it times 200,000 if the company's really, you know, moderately funded. But if they're really well funded, like they've raised more than $50 million, multiply it times 150,000 instead of 200,000. And basically what that number is going to produce is, again, the annual revenues, but it's also the annual burn rate because most early stage SaaS companies are just driving towards a break even point. Or in other words, they just want to earn enough revenue from subscriptions that they can cover their baseline costs for running the business or their burn rate. Now, what can you do with this number once you have it? Again, if you're trying to figure out your competitors' revenues and, and how quickly they're going to burn out, it's one thing that, that you know, it's a, it's a data point that might be kind of interesting. But I think if you're seriously evaluating going to work for an early stage company, and maybe that's a company that's a B, A or B series funded company, it's good to know how much cash they're burning through what a rough estimate of their revenues are. And this number is going to help you at least ask some more questions as you're interviewing. You know, how much runway do we have is a good question. You know, how much time do we have to scale this out? Have we achieved what's called product market fit? Or in other words, do our customers understand why they need us or why they should consider us, right? So those are all challenges that founders typically have to figure out. But a lot of times in these early companies, founders think they can just outsource that and bring in a sales rep to figure that out for them. That's usually not going to work out well. And that's why I think having some data around the health of the startup is, is valuable. So once again, that formula is just multiply the number of employees on LinkedIn times 200,000. This works for really any SaaS company that's not already publicly traded. Once they're publicly traded, it can be a little bit more nuanced. It's probably relatively accurate, but this works best for early stage startups that have not yet IPO'd or gone public. And typically the bigger you get, the more nuanced the, the SaaS business becomes because then you start to incorporate in things like services and, you know, managed services or, or, you know, implementation services and some of those other revenue line items. But early stage, it's usually the focus is just getting the SaaS subscriptions down and scaling that out. That's why this formula works. So number of employees on LinkedIn times 200,000, that'll give you the annual revenue of any SaaS company but it's also the annual burn rate or how much money they're spending uh, every single year. Hopefully that helps someone out there who's either looking at their competition or looking at uh, some job opportunities in an early stage SaaS company. Thanks so much for tuning in. I've got a secret weapon for you that's gonna skyrocket your sales without the unnecessary headaches that come along with using one of the big player CRM systems. That secret weapon is Close CRM. Now let's face it, 
We've all been there. We've used a clunky, confusing system that kind of makes you want to throw your laptop out the window. Well, fear not. Close is here to save your time, money, and sanity. Close has all of the powerful sales tools you need, minus the drama, to manage your leads, track your deals, and crush your targets effortlessly. It has calling, emailing, SMS, multi-channel sequences, and it even has meeting tracking built right in. It's easy to set up and implement. You can stop screwing around with CRMs that aren't built for you and start selling and managing customers today. You can start a free trial using the link in the show notes, special for SSP fans. 